Did Jesus ever use the name of the Old Testament God Yahweh? But no, Jesus never used the word Yahweh anywhere in his teachings. When Jesus talked about God, he used the Greek word Theos, which people understood to mean the creator, the source of the cosmos and everything in it. And in fact, the Apostle Paul gives that as the Christian definition of Theos in the book of Acts. So Jesus refers to God as Theos. He also refers to him as the Father. And in his famous prayer, he says, Father, the one in the skies, the one in the heavens just to distinguish from any other potential father. So we've got Theos, Pater, and then he addresses Pater as Abba, which is a word that could mean dad or could mean sir. That's the language that Jesus uses. Now, some might say, well, he quotes Yahweh's texts, and yes, he does, but almost every time he does that, he does it to find a a prophetic meaning or an esoteric meaning. He almost never goes to the Yahweh's texts for their plain meanings. And he distances himself from Yahweh's law. All the gospel writers present Jesus as a successor to Moses and a replacement of Moses and Jesus' laws as a replacement of the Yahweh's laws. So Jesus says, you've heard it said, but I say this. He also distances himself from some of the Yahweh's stories. He uses other language. He doesn't endorse the Yahweh stories. And this was clear to the primitive church in Acts 15, they make a decision that Christianity is not going to be built on the Yahweh stories or the Yahweh laws. In Colossians 2.14, it talks about the cancellation of those written laws. So the early Christians were very clear that Jesus had moved on from Yahweh. And Jesus also said, um, you do not know me nor my father. If you love my father, you would also love me. He says this in the Gospel of John. So he's separating himself and his father from the Jewish stories of uh, their father, Yahweh. So it's interesting. If Jesus didn't regard uh, these as divine stories, how did he regard them? In the early church, we had church fathers who sought to teach the church to read the scriptures the way Jesus read them. And key figures would be Origen and Clement of Alexandria. And so when they went to the Yahweh stories and the Elohim stories, they didn't regard them as God's stories. And they said, if we read these as God's stories, we would have to believe of God such things as we would not believe of the most savage and unjust of men. They also identified that there was some other kind of entity in those texts, which they called the craftsman or the demiurge. And this is language from Greek culture, powerful enough to do terraforming. It's not human, it's something else. Now, we might have other language for that kind of being. We have the language of interdimensional. They didn't have that language. They talked about the, the demiurgos, the craftsman. And when they gave that teaching, they believed they were being true to Jesus's handling of those texts.